This will be my second oil change with the Ram Promesser. I, I recorded the last one and made it a live stream. I didn't know what I was doing. Not that I know what I'm doing now, but I'm going to show you how to do an oil change on a Ram Promaster minus 2016. It's a 136 wheelbase and it's a 1500. Things you will need for the oil filter cap. This thing. To get to that, you're going to want a 15 16 socket wrench or 24 millimeter. You're going to want something full synthetic for a Promaster. So I'm going with Royal Purple. And always remember, it's 5W20. It's also six quarts. Get a funnel. For the filter, I'm going with a Wix WL110. These look like this. And they should always come with a new O-ring. Don't forget an oil pan. This is the drain plug. I'm using a 13 millimeter socket. Now, a lot of people will also use some sort of lift. I don't have that. But thankfully, the ProMaster is pretty high. You can do everything you need to do without a jack or lifts or uh, those ramps that you can drive up on. Find your wrench, whatever the hell you did with it. There we go. And then you just let that do its thing until it doesn't drip drop no more. Now while that's draining, let's go ahead and take this off. Make sure you get a snub nose one. There it is. Holding it over this bag so I don't drip it all over this driveway that's not mine. And there's a tiny little o-ring. Not all, well, I guess it's pretty big. Also, take a little of the other oil, loop it up, and just stick it on where the old one was. You gonna miss? Just pops in there. Let's go on back and put her in. Alright, and when it stops moving, it's in there. Let's go see how our oil drip's doing. Still a little trickle. Well, while we're waiting for that to drip, if you don't know, this is your dipstick right next to your oil fill. If you don't know what kind of oil you need, right on the oil fill it tells you. We can go over other things for your car. This symbol is the almighty snake key. The little snakes in the key. Skeleton key. This fluid is actually the repellent that keeps snakes away because it's very warm in here and snakes love warm places. So without this, I mean you've seen those things where like pythons are in the car. It's because they forgot to top up their snake fluid. So it's the key to keep snakes away. And then this means, you know, you'll if you find snakes in here, you'll blow your lid. Nobody knows exactly what this is. Every car comes with it from 2000 forward. A lot of people speculate that it has something to do with the government and tracking and all that stuff. We upgraded for this one. This is, if you can see, it's a bidet. Um, the car can use it and also it is human grade. So we're always clean. This is a compartment for alcohol. This, if you can see it, is where you keep bikinis and thongs. This information is useless. This is kind of just like for shits and giggles at the dealership. This is how much the car weighs. I mean, that's really it. And then there's the engine. All the wires and stuff are really for show. The alternator is made to break down so that you bring your car in to get it serviced. Otherwise, the alternator has no purpose. Clean that up. I'm going for no oil on their driveway. And this you don't need to tighten to absurdity. Remove the oil fill. Get a long funnel. I used a small funnel last time. 
It's just scary. Get your oil. And that's how you change the oil in a Ram Pro Master. Probably all of them, besides the diesel. I don't know about the diesel, but the gas ones probably all the same. Maybe just different amounts. But mine again was the 136 wheelbase, six cylinder, 1500, 2016. Also, disclaimer I am not a professional. This is just my van. I wanted to learn. I learned the last oil change. This is how I change my oil. If I missed a step, or if you saw me do something wrong, I guess you could tell me. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, you can tell me. Now we gotta get rid of all of the old six quarts of oil. Oh, if only we had some place to put it. Oh yeah, we do. How about what the new oil came in? Yeah. And how convenient if you get yourself an actual oil pan, it'll have a little spout for you. Just take these containers back to O'Reilly AutoZone. Wherever the hell you bought it, besides Amazon, and uh, they'll take care of it. They, they'll recycle it. Don't pour it down the drain. If you pour it down the drain, I find out somebody will be mad.